never before since Jamestown and Plymouth Rock has our American civilization been in such danger as now. Frankly and definitely, there is danger ahead. Danger against which we must prepare. But we well know that we cannot escape danger or the fear of it by crawling into bed and pulling the covers over our heads. If Great Britain goes down, the Axis powers will control the continents of Europe and Asia and Africa and Australasia and the high seas. And they will be in a position to bring enormous military and naval resources against this hemisphere. It is no exaggeration to say that all of us in the Americas would be living at the point of a gun, a gun loaded with explosive bullets, economic as well as military. The experience of the past two years has proven beyond doubt that no nation can appease the Nazis. No man can tame a tiger into a kitten by stroking it. There can be no appeasement with ruthlessness. There can be no reasoning with an incendiary bomb. We know now that a nation that can have peace with the Nazis only at the price of total surrender. The people of Europe who are defending themselves do not ask us to do their fighting. They ask us for the implements of war, the planes, the tanks, the guns, the freighters, which will enable them to fight for their liberty and our security. We have furnished the British great material support and we will furnish far more in the future. There will be no bottlenecks in our determination to aid Great Britain. No dictator, no combination of dictators will weaken that determination by threats of how they will construe that determination. This nation is making a great effort to produce everything that is necessary in this emergency and with all possible speed. This great effort requires great sacrifice. The nation expects our defense industries to continue operation without interruption by strikes or lock lockouts. It expects and insists that management and workers will reconcile their differences by voluntary or legal means to continue to produce the supplies that are so sorely needed. We must be the great arsenal of democracy for us this is an emergency as serious as war itself. I believe that the Axis powers are not going to win this war. I base that belief on the latest and the best information. As President of the United States, I call for that national effort. I call for it in the name of this nation, which we love and honor, and which we are privileged and proud to serve, I call upon our people with absolute confidence that our common cause will greatly succeed.